Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo mini PC. This is a Lenovo Think Center M17 715Q model. So it's an M715Q model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can add extra storage, increase the storage that they come with in here to different type and what are the combination of the storage that you can have in here and what are the recommended one and the maximum capacity this one do it came with 120 gig which is pretty nothing almost for today's uh, programs and stuff like that so we're gonna open it up and i'm gonna show you guys how to remove or add this is just a demonstration just remember if you want to remove the main storage in here which i will recommend you guys to do it you have to reinstall your windows and freshly install on a new drive I made a really short video how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. I made another video how to properly install on your Lenovo laptops or Lenovo PCs. Those are uh, pretty much installation is really easy. Just plug it in and pull up and it's going to go through installation guide. Follow any of my installation Windows guide and you can get the Windows installed properly without any boot work install it, installed on it. Right in this video, we're just gonna open it up and I'm gonna explain the inside. All right, so first thing first, power the power it up, disconnect everything that you have in here. And at the back here, you're gonna see single screw right in here. Yours might be a different type of a screw. This one comes with an easy on a screw. So I'm just gonna rotate this one and remove. If yours is not pulling out it's straight, don't worry. As long as it's really loose, leave it there. Then you wanna slide the top cover towards the front that much because I can't pull anymore and then you simply want to flip it like this okay now you can put this one to one side and we can see this one comes with a mechanical drive you might come with a uh, this comes with a SSD drive yours might have a mechanical drive so it is different for different configuration when you buy them so this one is a 128 gig sand disk I recommend you guys go with a Samsung brand with a Samsung Evo, you can put up to four terabyte in 2.5 inch SSD in here, up to four terabyte. But I would say go with a uh, what? Uh, I will put a mechanical drive in here. Actually, I'll put a four terabyte mechanical drive because mechanical drive are really good to storing data for a long term. And to remove this one here first. What do you want to do? We want to unscrew this screw right in here. Use your finger or use a screwdriver if yours is really tough. Remove. And then you want to slide the hard drive back this way as much as you can see is releasing the contact here. Lift it up, bring it to one side gently because there's a Wi Fi connector in here, cable. So put it down here. To remove this hard drive in here, all you need to do is just slide it forward and bring it up like that. Really easy. Just remember the orientation of the connector. The SATA connector is on this side and the power connector is on this side. Let's say you get a mechanical drive, they all have the same interface. You cannot put it upside down or this way, otherwise the connector is gonna invert and they're not gonna go through this connector right in here, okay? So the orientation is very important. So what do you wanna do? You wanna remove it like this, the way that you removed it, bring it here, make sure it's like that. Now all you want to do, unscrew this one and with the rubber everything, unscrew this two screw in here and screw it on the new drive, same thing on the other side. And then once you put it on here, imagine this is the same one, you can bring it down in an offset position, dump it in there and gently push it back and there we have it. And now all you need to do to put it back on top, align it and push all the way in and put the screw. And that's how you can add or remove the in the SATA 2.5 inch drive you can put it up to four terabyte or six terabyte mechanical drive or a four terabyte uh, solid state drive look the only one the highest i've seen is a four terabyte on ssd and up to six terabyte on this one on mechanical ones now this is a SATA connector for a windows and data transfer is a little bit slower but on the, la on the PC, you have an NVMe M.2 connector right in here. And they actually give you a tiny, instead of screws, they give you a hook to lock it back in. If you can get a 
980 Pro from Samsung up to 4 terabyte if you want. No, actually, it does take a 4 terabyte. You can put it up to 4 terabyte or 2 terabyte, which would be really good. Put it right in here. Any NVMe, any brand, but I would recommend the 980 Pro from Samsung. Make sure the notch on the NVMe matches the notch right on the jack right in there. So you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle right in there and squeeze it in there and it stays open like that. And then all you want to do, bring it down all the way to the screw hole and then put this pin right in there, just like that. Once you put that one in there, I recommend you to install the windows in this drive. It will be much, much faster. And then you can upgrade that mechanical drive in here or put a solid state drive so you can transfer files really fast from this drive to the main drive super fast if you have both solid state drive. But if you want to save important data, go with a mechanical drive in here and solid state drive on the main one. You can put a 4 terabyte in there, 4 terabyte in here, and you still be fine. All right. So let's put this one in here and lock it down. But you cannot put any heat sink on the bottom one. So make sure you do not get any SSDs and NVMEs with a heat sink. Otherwise, it will not uh, overlay each other. Right. Put the tiny screw right on top. And all you need to do now is to install your Windows in there and format this one. Create a new fresh partition in here as a secondary storage. Grab the top cover, put it down in an offset position, and slide it back, and put the back screw right in there. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out. If you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.